Another voice who's been through with us at ED now for the last nine years and who better than the Lib Part Joint MD at Prabhudas Leeladhar joining in on this very special occasion. Dilip, such a pleasure having you today on the show. Thanks so much for taking the time out. Thank you so much. Congratulations to all of you. And I think all of you all have been doing a wonderful job. And I think it really deserves a lot of appreciation the way you people are going about it. And I think once again, I must say congratulations to you and all your entire team for doing such a great job. So much for your encouraging words, Dilip. Dilip, let's start about market and clearly, you know, the standout feature seems to be IT and pharmaceuticals. And let me pick up the point on IT first. Uh, while the tailwind continues to favor, you know, IT as a sector and the fundamentals, uh, but the fact of the matter is also that the stocks have run up so much. Uh, Infosys just last week celebrated its 25-year anniversary as a listed entry. That at an all-time high. TCS at an all-time high. And now a hefty buyback. And I can go on including some of the mid-cap names as well in there. Are the valuations looking comfortable for someone who's looking at entering IT right now? Uh, have they already missed the bus? Sure, I think uh, the initial uh, part of the run-up is already completed. I think <clears throat> IT has to be viewed more as a defense and something which will provide resilience to your portfolio. Largely uh, because of the macro factors, I think the way uh, the currency is moving is going to be one of the strongest uh, support uh, or the tailwind for this particular sector but whether <clears throat> the core performance of uh, whether the core uh, parameters of the business uh, of the it has improved i'm not too sure of that i think there is still a good amount or fair amount of apprehension that is still existing out over there but having said that i think on a risk return basis I think the risks are certainly limited and overall I think we should see a gradual up move. I think the IT still will provide some kind of defense along with something like say pharma sector. Hmm. Uh, Dilip, uh, while your broad take is uh, you know that uh, ID, uh, IT could be on the way uh, of a rebound. Do you believe that that extends out to pharma as well? Because I remember in your last answer you said IT and pharma are pretty much running parallel to each other. They've both seen about 12 to 18 months of our underperformance. But do you think the news flow is getting um, stronger and stronger on pharma turning um, a, a, a new page, a, a new chapter really uh, in terms of a, an investment philosophy building to buy into the sector across the board? Or is it still uh, case by case? <coughs> Uh, well, I think on an overall basis, uh, if we have seen that uh, the major pharmas, whether it is Lupin, Sun, Dr. Eddy's, I think all of them uh, with a huge US exposure and rest of the world exposure have been very badly ambushed by the US FDA inspection and the subsequent warnings and the observations and whatnot. So I think uh, we probably have traveled that particular uh, problem and uh, traveled quite a distance to that. So somewhere as our understanding shows that it takes roughly about 12 to 15 months for them to overcome this series of uh, setbacks in terms of the US FDA issues. So I think most of them possibly will be completing those 15 months or so, 12 to 15 months and possibly that the, at the end of the cycle, which is where we are seeing some amount of preemptive buying which takes place, which has taken place. So uh, it has to be very stock specific. But another issue which is soon going to uh, resurface for a lot of these pharma companies is possibly as India lays out, rolls out, it's very ambitious uh, medical plan to cover a great uh, portion of the population. I think we will see very random and uh, frequent price controls being imposed on lot of the items which are uh, once again manufactured by the pharma companies. So that I think is a very serious <coughs> red flag which I see. So uh, uh, having said all that, I think on a stock specific basis, Lupin still looks like the pick of the lot because they have really uh, seen the worst of it. And gradually somewhere I think the Sun Pharma has to follow the suit. But Lupin uh, surely looks like the pick of the lot amongst all these companies. 
and ipka i think will still continue to do uh, well which is what we had been telling uh, now for some time it has done pretty well uh, in spite and despite whatever the pharma companies have faced uh, i think that's another stock which can look pretty steady uh, from the current levels dilip you know dilip but and quiz more on uh, some of the sectors hi dilip this is sada joining in conversation and uh, my question to you is on uh, fmcg space and uh, you know this is one space where there is decent amount of visibility and not just from one year two years perspective but from five years six years or probably more than that and that's the reason you know large cap stocks are trading at such premium valuation what about the mid cap space or what about the you know second rank space where valuation is not very expensive uh, but market has never found you know uh, too much of uh, favor or flavor over there how are you approaching fmcg space at large and any 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 ideas in that space <clears throat> so i think as far as fmcg space is concerned this is one of the space which has continued to be in a very sweet spot and as we go forward i think uh, as what you very rightly put it i think the traction the visibility and the optimism still continues to uh, pervade uh, across the sector uh, for this particular uh, sector i think uh, what we really think is that uh identifying some of the big names is always very challenging because these are all very expensive stocks their roes are very very high and for obvious obvious reasons that like not enough investment is being being made so you really find very high roes being churned out but more important i think the volume traction is coming so uh very frankly we we are always uh, within ourselves uh, facing this challenging uh, things how to really own this stocks in the portfolio because at best you can say they can provide you with some resilience to the portfolio but within this pack i think itc still looks pretty good and solid uh, within this particular space i think that's a big name which still has a promise to give at least about 25 30% return say cagr over next 2 uh, to 3 years because the kind of mix that they are into and i think the investments that they are making as also a very decent roe of around 35% plus so i think uh, this is one sto- uh, area where we really fe- uh, one stock where we are very upbeat but apart from this in the entire space retail is something that we are really eyeing at i think the organized retail is getting more uh, footfalls they are seeing more visibility they are seeing more consumer traction and i think that's this is one space where we will see a lot of action whether in terms of tie ups like the tie, uh, like the one which we saw uh, the walmarts maybe the amazon some of these people will uh, uh, will continue to do a fair amount of action so whether they happen or not i think the market uh, will continue to be a buzz with uh, this these kind of uh, developments but more important the core performance definitely seems to be in the northern trajectory and that is why the the retail sector is something which we right. li- uh, we like a lot Dilip thank you so much for joining us uh, on this you know occasion where we are celebrating our 9th uh, anniversary and sharing your views valuable views with our viewers and guiding them to this market situation thank you once again for joining us at ET now that's uh, Dilip but from thank you so uh, much Siddharth and it's really been a pleasure for us also thank you thank you once again Dilip that's uh, Dilip but from Prabhudas